Hey butterflies, welcome back for another episode. Today I wanna show you guys how I got this eyeshadow look. It kind of goes in theme with Lion King, you know, cause this is the month it came out. I also will be using my James Charles Morphe palette. I'm so excited, so let's get started guys. Okay guys, so today we're gonna fast forward a little bit. I'm gonna skip my eyebrows, so we're going straight into eyeshadow and I'm going to use scotch tape cause I want a really sharp um, angle for my eyeshadow. I don't wanna have to worry about my eyeliner. So I'll be going in with 10% off first and that's more like a brown color. And then I'm going to also blend James right over that color and then to blend all three of them to give me a real gradient fade, um, I blended yellow on top of that. So now we're gonna go into our inner crease and we're gonna blend out the color 518, which is an orange color. And then right on our outer lid, I went in with a spooky color, it's actually black. And just to give my um, lid some dimension in it, I didn't really feel like I had enough depth in my eyelid. Okay, so now I'll grab the color code James and I'm gonna just blend out the spooky color so that way it's not too harsh. After I do that, I'm going to create a half cut crease using my concealer. Um, you can use any concealer. I suggest using a lighter concealer. And just follow the um, crease of your natural eye. And then after that, I want you to pick up the color um, Spooky and just blend out the edge of the cut crease itself. So that way um, it looks really natural. There's no hard lines. And then um, I want you to cover the concealer itself with the color Tune and then blend out the middle where the black and Tune meet with the color code James. And that should give you a really nice color on your lid that you can really use as like a sunset. It could be a nighttime look, it can be a daytime look. So, you know, just pack those colors on and make your colors really vibrant. And I feel like when you blend everything out together, it really looks nice. All right, so now I want you guys to take your liquid liner and we're gonna create a wing. Um, I wanted to try creating it with the tape itself to see the difference on me just freehanding it. So this time I did um, create my wing before I took my tape off. If you guys are wondering, you know why I'm doing that right now. All right, butterfly, so now you have finished your eyeliner. Take your tape off of your eyes so that way you can see, you know, if you need to do any touch-ups to your eyeliner. If you do not, um, take the color Shook, and I want you to put that red color right in the inner corner of your eye, so that way it gives your eyes a little bit of pop. And then now we are gonna do our face, so that way we can have flawless skin. So take your concealer and go right under your eye, um, on top of your eye bags. Personally, I have a little eye bag, so I like to put concealer right under my eyes, right before I put my foundation on. And I am using the Fenty Beauty Foundation in the shade 430. And I'm just gonna go all around my face with my Moist Beauty Blender and pretty much just dab it out so that way the color spreads properly. And if you need to um, fix your eyeliner, use a small detail brush just to um, fill in the gap because again, we did use the eyeliner before we took the tape off, not after. So just fix any little mistakes that you might have made. All right, y'all might think I'm a little obsessive about these bags, but I do conceal under my eyes before my foundation and after my foundation. Um, I just feel like it makes my right under my eyes look really good. So that's what I do every time that I do my makeup consistently. And then after I do that, I'm going to contour my face right under my jawline, around my forehead, the bridge of my nose, my chin, and then I'm also going to highlight and I'm gonna highlight the locations of right under my eyes, I did that first, right under my contour on my cheekbones, in the middle of my chin, the bridge of my nose, as well as my forehead. And when I blend all of those colors together with my Moist Beauty Blender, um, it really gives my face a natural glow. Personally, I use um, two different beauty blenders when blending out my contour and my highlight, so that way um, the color really blends out. And then after, I will use the same foundation beauty blender that I use, just to go ever over everything one more time to give you know, my face an even coat.
All right, so now grab a big fluffy brush and some loose powder. My shade is dark because, you know, I'm a little chocolate baby. And I just pretty much dab everywhere. I did not set with a translucent powder, banana powder with this look. I just did um, loose powder all over. That way it kind of blended everything together with one color. Now I'll be taking my Urban Decay setting spray and I'll be spraying it all over my face. And I actually have been watching a couple tutorials that have said to use your beauty blender to roll the setting spray into your face to really let it soak in. So that's what I've been trying. And honestly, the last three looks I've done, amazing. So I'll probably be doing more frequently than not. Um, then I'm going in with blush. For blush, I use red lipstick personally and a stipple brush. It works just as well as me using blush powder. And then I'm gonna create some eyeliner just with the same colors that I used for my eyelid. And I used, I believe, the yellow, the brown, and the red. And then I'm gonna go in with bronzer. Everywhere that I put contour, I kinda like to just go over it. It gives my um, contour just a little bit of shimmer shine. All right, butterflies, things are slowly wrapping up. So now I'm going to take my fan brush and I'm gonna put some highlighter on my cheekbones and right under my eyebrow bone. I really love highlight, um, I love my cheekbones. They just pop out and highlight just gives them a little bit more of that pop, so that's why I love highlighter. And then after I highlight my brow bones, I will be going in with my lipstick. I believe I skipped that step, so we're gonna fast forward and um, put on my lashes and my mascara. And then after we do that, um, I wanna take my white Fenty Beauty eyeliner and I'm going to create these dots that I actually got from a YouTuber. Um, her name is Aaliyah's Face. I'll try to tag her down below. But um, I've actually been following her for quite a while and she always does these little dots on her eyeliner or on her eyes and it's not something that's crazy, you know, out there, but it really stands out and it makes your eyes pop so much more. So that's the look I was going for. You know, you gotta pop for the Lion King. Butterflies, we are officially done. Just do any touch-ups that you need to and your Lion King look is complete. Um, thank you guys for watching so much. I really hope you enjoyed this look. I did such a good job on it. You know, you gotta be confident in yourself. Pat yourself on the back when you do a good job. So thank you guys for watching. I can't wait to see you guys on my next episode. Stay tuned for part two on my Lion King look and we'll see you guys next time. Bye bye butterflies. Thanks for watching.